Kept you waiting, huh? Metal Gear. It can't be. Hello, my friends. It's Legend Arma TV. It's good to see you again. Now, I really hope that level 110 so far been treating you all well. There's been a lot of things added to the game, uh, a lot of content and stuff, and we will uh, cover that uh, very, very soon. However, today we are going to settle scores with a legendary soldier, Rommel, the first uh, raid boss of level 110, in a battle called Royal Castle Topaz Hall. The requirements, the loot, and the gameplay is up ahead. Please enjoy. The caps for Rommel are as follows. If we just look into the quick battle, to be able to board quick battle, we will need 39,800 attack, 22,300 defense, 87 balance, 160 counter force, and 205 critical rate. This is the minimal requirements uh, you will need to do quick battle. If we just talk about the caps for this battle, uh, the attack cap is 42,300, 215 critical resistance, and 225 critical rate. Also, the counter force is going to be 188, and there is a new stat introduced called balance resistance. So, whenever you have your balance, just subtract uh, 7 from that, and this is going to be the amount of balance, the effective balance, that you will have in this boss battle. When it comes to the loot, uh, there is uh, this awesome new button added to every boss in the game, uh, to every raid battle, uh, which is called Main Rewards. And you can see that Rommel drops the stuff that is uh, relevant to 110, Ardry. Ardry is a new set of gear, uh, the weapon essence, uh, the armor essences and also the Legacy Shards to create Ardry gear. He also drops Jardin Steel, which is used solely for now, for level 110 Reforging, so this is all the loot that he drops, no scrolls, no nothing, just straight up uh, Ardry stuff to create your new gear. And that's it for the requirements and the, key, uh, and the loot, let's get to the gameplay! Even though Rommel is level 110 boss, he's actually pretty, pretty easy. Now, uh, there are a couple of things that you obviously need to know whenever you're going to fight him to make sure you don't die. First on the list is the counterattack. Whenever uh, Rommel, and he will do that quite frequently, goes into a stance and uh, he looks like he's in a boxing match, uh, putting a block up, if you hit him during that animation, he will counterattack with his uh, gauntlet, dealing right attack, dealing damage. Now, if you want to escape that, you need to be uh, very attentive here, and whenever you prompted it, just dodge to the side. Uh, this attack uh, doesn't really do a lot of damage, even though it's a red attack, but as I said, Rommel is going to do it pretty, pretty frequently. Now that we know about the counterattack, uh, let's focus on the uh, one of the main mechanics that Rommel has. This is uh, what is called a Mana Wound. Rommel has two weapons that he uses in the battle. He's using a sword and a large gauntlet that Maka gave him. So whenever uh, Rommel strikes you with a sword, he will land a mana wound, and you can see it over here as a debuff. This stacks up to three times. Whenever you have one stack, the damage that you're going to receive uh, from the gauntlet attack is going to be minor. Two stacks, it's uh, moderate, and three stacks, it's going to be kind of fatal. It does a lot of damage. So, whenever you get hit by the sword, make sure that uh, when Rommel drops to nine bars, you will tr you will have to avoid the gauntlet attacks. So, Rommel is dropping to nine bars, and he starts a sequence. He drops his sword. And the sword is going to radiate uh, shockwaves, so whenever you're going to get hit by the shockwave, this blue one, it will also apply a stack on you. And Rommel starts doing a f brutal flurry of attacks with his gauntlets. If you get hit by any of the gauntlet attacks, uh, depending on how many stacks you have, he will turn these blue stacks into red stacks. And it, uh, you will get a debuff called Mana Bleeding. Now, uh, What's the difference between the stages? Level 1 Mana Bleed 
uh, only does damage to you over time. Level 2 mana bleeding uh, does the damage and also boosts your stamina cost. So you will start, just like in Tarathon or Siet's uh, Blood Pulse, you will start using uh, much more stamina. And if you have 3 stacks, uh, you will have all the above, and also you're going to start losing a large amount of SP per second. So you just need to make sure that uh, you get as uh, less stacks as possible, and whenever he does this brutal assault with his gauntlets, uh, to make sure not to get hit, or you will receive the debuff, and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt you uh, pretty much. Once he finishes the uh, sequence... Uh, that's it. You won't ever need to worry about this debuff uh, again. However, if the battle goes too slow, he might actually repeat that sequence again, and uh, you will have to deal with the mana bleeding debuff once again. Warning of death. Now, this is uh, kind of scary, but this is the KO attack that Romal has. He has a wind-up, and he marks an area in front of him, and if you get caught in the area... You will get debuffed, a cold warning of death. So what happens then? Romel chooses a uh, random target and dashes towards them and does a single blow. If you get hit but while being marked, it will prompt a KO scene. Uh, you will get pounded uh, by the old man. Uh, probably some people have a kink for that. Uh, and he will just finish you off with a sword and you die. Whenever that happens, whenever he uh, does the wind-up for this, make sure you go to his back. So just um, just flank him and make sure you're not in this red zone So uh, to avoid being uh, debuffed for this thing. However, whenever he charges towards you, even if you got debuffed, you still have a chance to escape. You just have to time it very, very well. So whenever he does the slash, dodge to the side. There is a high probability that you will be able to escape the KO and uh, just continue DPSing the boss. That's it. And lastly, whenever Romel drops to four bars, he will uh, destroy what is left of the top pass hole and the ceiling will start to collapse. After this little cutscene, he's going to be invincible, so uh, you have time to chill, maybe prep your resonance over here. And the last phase will begin. So what's happen what happens here? The first uh, rock that he catches, and he will always catch it, after a short delay, he will throw it to the to the random target and deal 100,000 damage. This is, if you, if you life layer, you're lucky. If not, then you instantly die, of course. This is a red attack, and uh, to be able to avoid that thing, I suggest, whenever he is about to throw the rock over here, you dodge towards him, and to the side a little bit. So try to uh, end up being behind him here to avoid that. It is really hard to do, and people do die a lot to this attack, but this is the only red attack, the only red throw uh, that he's going to do at the start of the phase. After that, uh, whatever you successfully or not successfully uh, avoid uh, the rock throw, uh, he's going to continue attacking you, and uh, since the ceiling will be collapsing, uh, you will see uh, red uh, circles on the ground. Uh, this is where the ceiling is going to drop. So if Romel stands close to the circle, he will catch it, much like Zekalion. And uh, you will have time for the free sandbag. And uh, whenever he's going to throw the rock, you can actually block. So uh, besides... Except for the first rock throw, which is the red attack, all the other rocks are blockable and dodgeable, so you don't ever need to worry about it much. If uh, the rock falls on the ground, it will just create shockwaves, so it will just a, uh, be an extra nuisance for, uh, for you. You will have to just uh, uh, watch out and see, make sure you dodge and block uh, the shockwaves. And that's it. That's all uh, you need to know about Romel. Uh, pretty easy, just keep in mind the KO, keep in mind the uh, first rock throw being the red attack, and watch out for the mana bleeding. I wish you good luck. And that's it for today, covering Romel, the first level 110 boss, in a battle called Royal Castle Topaz Hall. Guys, I wish you good luck uh, hunting for the Ardry gear, uh, maybe making yourself Ardry gear, just like I did. And uh, let's see of what next bosses are going to be for the level 110.
Thank you so much for watching. This was Legend Arma TV. Please subscribe to YouTube channel, join my Discord, stop by Twitch. If you want to support me directly, please do so on Patreon. Guys, I've been away for a bit, but uh, the videos will continue. Now we have a lot of plans, a lot of things that we uh, I want to discuss with you and show you. So uh, please uh, stay in touch. Please be safe. I love you all 3000 and I see you next time.